In this training video, I'll demonstrate how to publish a design from Canva as an e-magazine. I'm Wendy with My Home, and I'm really passionate about helping real estate agents make their brand top of mind of their clients, known as brand market positioning. E-magazines are going to be great because they're easy to distribute, they elegantly display your curated content, and they reinforce your brand position with the audience that you deliver them to. We're gonna start with a project that you designed on Canva and publish it with Issue. And Issue is a publishing platform for interactive magazines, eBooks, social media posts, GIFs, and so much more that are derived from a single piece of static content. Now, sharing from Canva is seamless. We're gonna simply click on the share button above the content that we want to convert into Issue. A menu with the sharing options will open and to find the issue integration, click on more. There you're going to scroll down through the dozens of suggested apps that, in, that Canva integrates with until you locate the issue app under more options. You'll notice that it is a red icon and it usually is the first one in that grouping. Now click on connect to allow Canva to connect to your issue account in order for it to share the project that you've created. Next, I want you to use the email address and the password that you used when you signed up for your issue account so they can connect. Now, if you don't have an issue account yet, you'll need to stop here, open a new tab on your browser and register for an account before coming back and proceeding. To make your integration with issue seamless in the future for all of your future e-magazines, which I hope you do quite a few, I recommend clicking the Remember Me box first and then click Accept to accept the integration's permissions, allowing it to connect your accounts. This may take a few moments while the content is shared to issue, but once it's done, you'll be able to click on View in Issue to see the draft publication there. Now that your accounts are connected in the future, Uploading your content to issue will be easy. You're going to simply click on share, find the issue icon, and then make sure that you change from one through 10 pages to all pages and then click done. Here we are. We're on the new issue application. It's going to open immediately and you're going to see this is what we call the publications page. Here you'll find the publication that you just uploaded. Double click on it and let's go. The first thing I like to do once I get into a new publication before I publish is to add a description. I want you to think of your ideal audience that you made this e-magazine for. And then in first person, speak directly to them, letting them know what they're going to get when they read your e-magazine. I always recommend adding a great call to action. Tell them what to do next and be sure to include your name, brokerage, and contact information. Once you have that done, check that the links on your document made the move from Canva over to Issue by clicking on Add Links and Video. There you'll be able to navigate to the pages that have links on them and confirm that they are there. If you see that they are lit up in blue, the links made it over. If you have any links that are missing or if at this moment you want to make any of your images or any other text linked to content, simply click on add link, highlight the text that will be the link to the content and paste the link and save. In this example, I linked my digital business card um, to my name in the issue editor. I like to then click on publish changes. And if you want, you can then click on preview to see how it performs in your e-magazine. When you hover over the area that has a link, you'll notice that it goes directly to that landing page or location that you sent the link to go to. Now let's talk about videos. We're going to click on insert video and any YouTube and Vimeo video can be embedded directly onto issue uh, e-magazines, either as autoplay or an overlay with a play button. To do this, you're going to click on insert video, paste the link and save. And once you do that, you'll be able to move and reshape the box where you want the video to play in your e-magazine. You're ready to publish. 
The settings below the video will differ depending on whether you have a paid or a free account. So you'll want to choose the ones that are best for your e-magazine. For example, you'll see that there is an option for availability. You can make this available on public, which means that everyone on issue and anywhere it's embedded on the web is available for anyone to read. If you make it unlisted, only readers with a direct link can see it. That may be an idea for listings, uh, listing presentations or marketing proposals to sellers. And then you can also choose scheduled. And if you do that, you'll be able to schedule your content to go live on the day that you want it to go live. In settings, as you can see, depending on paid or free, you'll be able to either turn advertisements on or off, choose whether or not you want your content to be downloadable, also determine if you want links to be uh, able to, to be live to show, and then also what type of publication you can choose if you want it to be marketing, uh, editorial, book, or other. And then lastly, if you want, you can backdate it in the settings section. Next, you're going to see that your e-zine, e-magazine, is now live. You can view it live, and here you can copy the link and test it by pasting it into another window and hitting go to make sure that it works the way you want it to. Now, let's talk a little bit about sharing options because you do have a few ways to share. On the left navigation bar, you're going to see the share icon. Click on the drop-down arrow to discover how you can share your e-magazine. First, you can embed it on your website. This is an option and part of the paid plan. If you want to embed this on a landing page, on your website, or anywhere else, it's quite simple. You'll just click on embed and get the embed code. You'll notice underneath embed on website, there are some choices like changing the background color, um, whether you want it to be a double page flip or a single page, um, whether you want it to be responsive, remove branding, promote, and hide the share button. So make those choices. And once you've done that, click get embed code and you'll be able to embed that on your website. You can also do full screen sharing, which this is one of my favorite options that's included in the paid version. With full screen sharing, you can have an ad free experience for your reader. Uh, it fills their viewer's screen with the complete magazine. So there's, there aren't any paid ads or what to read next on the side. And it also gives you the option to change the background color. If you want, you can go on brand or use a complimentary color that will look good with your e-zine. You can also add your logo in the paid version that will show in the upper left-hand corner and stay there um, on the reader. And then in addition, you can also add a background image if you'd like. Maybe you want it to look like it's sitting on a coffee table. You can opt in to promote your e-magazine um, for people that are reading on issue. So it could be one of the read mores. And you can also hide the share button, which you may choose that option again, if you're sharing a listing presentation with a prospective seller and you don't want them forwarding that on. And then one more option here that I thought you might find interesting is you can actually create stacks. So I want you to think of stacks as a way to segment your content, similar to playlists on your YouTube channel. Stacks can also be followed. So if somebody likes what you're sharing, they can click follow and they'll be updated when a new publication is pushed to that stack. So that's something to really think about as you're creating your e-zines. Now on that paid plan, you can also view your analytics. And for me, I like seeing analytics because it really gives me an idea of what's working, what's most interesting to people. And it gives me a little bit of an idea of what I should put in my next e-magazine. Now for the answer to the question that you're probably already thinking, what if something changes and I need to update my e-magazine with maybe a new video or a new link, statistics that are changing, or maybe even just some new content. This is one of my favorite features about Issue. Below your published content, you will see a re-upload option. You'd simply choose re-upload then choose the updated file from Canva, and once uploaded, choose Publish Changes in the upper right-hand corner of Issue. And the next time your viewer opens the e-magazine, the new e-magazine content displays. This brings us all the way back to the beginning of the conversation around using unique mechanisms to deliver your marketing message to help establish your brand's market position. And if you know me, you know that I love feedback, which also informs my decisions 
about how I continue to be the best marketing and technology resource possible to you. So I have a question. How do you see yourself using this new mechanism to position your brand in the market? Feel free to share in the comments below. I would love to know. Thank you so much for joining. I'm Wendy Luntz with My Home. I'm your marketing technology resource and your continual learner that stays on top of the best ways to make your brand showcase in the market that you want to dominate. Thank you.